you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When you were eight and you had bad treats, you go to school and learn... Welcome everyone, Petty Officer Romero with Job Corps, uh, basic security training. Um, I have a, a subject matter and it's careers uh, relative to the subject that I teach, which is basic security and law enforcement. Uh, we also do military. So the thing that I'm going to start off with is military because it's probably what I have the most experience at. I could not say more positive things about the military. Um, the military changed my life. Now, personally, I've always said it's how much you embrace anything in life. There are some people who find everything that they're told to do or told how to do offensive, essentially. And what you'll learn as you grow older in life and more mature is that at, at any point in your life, you're going to be listening to someone. When we're young, we listen to our kids, our, our parents. Uh, we get a little bit older, we get a job, we listen to our boss or we lose our job. Uh, as we get a little bit older, maybe we're more successful and we, we own our own business, then you have to listen to the customer. So there's really not a point in life unless you just simply become independently wealthy where you don't have someone that you answer to. So to me, it's a matter of embracing what the military offers you. And what it offers you is, is discipline. It offers you a purpose. It helps you develop your skills personally and professionally. Uh, and so I'm going to start off by saying that I was personally in the Navy. Um, I joined the Navy because... It, it was silly, but I saw a poster of, uh, of spec war guys, you know, coming out of the water with their scuba gear and a gun. And it just looked really cool. So I picked the Navy and, and I always tell the story cause it's kind of funny that I didn't really even understand what the Navy was. I just knew I wanted to be one of those guys. So I joined the Navy and realized that if I didn't do the things and accomplish what I wanted to do, that I would end up being on a boat. And that terrified me. And I, to this day, it makes me laugh that I joined the Navy terrified of actually ever being on a boat on a deployment for six months, nine months. And, you know, they talk about traveling the world, but it may be for you. It may not be for you. But I personally, I want to be in special warfare and I want to be in naval special warfare because it's the best in the world. Um, I embraced everything. When I went into the military, I was an underachiever. I, I didn't, anything I can get away with doing the most minimal amount of work, the minimal amount of preparation, the minimal, minimal acceptable in any aspect is what I did. And what the military taught me, and I'll tie it into the story I just told you, is that your mom and dad, they let you get away with things. Your teachers at some point say, look, I just don't have time to mess with you. But in the military, they pretty much, you either going to do what they ask you to do, or there's going to be repercussions. And so these repercussions aren't something that you can just walk away from. It's something that you either have to do or you end up um, getting in serious trouble, like literally going to jail, at least, you know, the brig or on restriction or lose your pay, lose your rank if you don't follow instructions. So even in the military, it's a matter of do you embrace what they tell you uh, in boot camp? They have like a, uh, a chain of command for the recruits. And I remember I graduated as the leader of my platoon, about a hundred people. And one of the first things I did after I started taking it a little bit serious is they said, go clean the bathroom. And me and five other guys went to clean the bathroom. And most of them just sat around irritated, complaining. And at some point I just grabbed it and started, started scrubbing. And when it was all said and done, they observed that. And then they said, after, you know, about a week, Romero, I want you to take these five guys. I want you to go to the bathroom and make sure it gets clean. I do not want to see you pick up a broom, a mop, a scrub, or anything. But you are responsible for making sure that that bathroom is cleaned. And at the end of the day, man, and when you're talking about cleaning the bathroom, do you take pride in that? I mean, who takes pride in cleaning a bathroom? But at some point, you have to learn to take pride in every single thing that you do. And that's what employers look for. So um, to give you kind of a rundown, uh, first you start off in basic training and you know, that's when they teach you. You see, that's when you, and, and this is a misconception. So let me start here. People think of the military as marching and very stringent and in a way it is, but it's also just a job. Now, basic camp, basic, uh, basic training is where you get that, 
uh, kind of the marching and everybody standing and somebody's yelling at you. Once you get into the regular world of the military, it's not really like that. It, it's a job like any other. You have a chain of command. You have people, people much more direct than they are in civilian life. In civilian life, you have HR and everybody's just, you know, Mr. Romero, if you wouldn't mind, could you possibly do me a favor and take that box and move it over there in the military, they'll just tell you to do it and you're used to it and you just do what you're told and you turn around to the next guy. It's a little bit more blunt force uh, kind of communication. Romero, get that box, put it over there. And you like, yes, sir. And you do it and you learn to do it and accept it. And then that's just the way of life. You follow orders. Then you take that same thing and you move it forward. And after you get out of boot camp, if you embrace it, they teach you literally how to fold your underwear, how to make your bed, how to stand, how to take orders, how to do things properly. And once you get out of boot camp, then you go to in, in the Navy, it's called an A school. And that's where they teach you your job. Because when you go in the military, you're not just running around shooting a gun. You have a job. Now, you do shoot a gun. You do everything else and learn how to be a soldier. But once you get out of that, now you're in the military. Now you serve a purpose. Um I was an electronics and hydraulics expert and a, a weapons expert. So we, my job was to learn everything there was about maintaining and repairing like missile launchers on a, on a destroyer. So, you know, once you're underway, there is nobody to call and say, hey, man, I need somebody to fix this for me. So you have to do it. So once you get through A school, that's when you go to the fleet. Now, in my case, I told you I wanted to be in spec war. So at that point, I went to that training. People didn't want to go into spec war. They just went to the fleet as a, uh, whatever their rate was. Maybe you're an electronics expert. Maybe you're, uh, you could be a yeoman, which is a Navy way of saying you're, you're an administrative person. Uh, you could be doing payroll. I mean, you could be a cook, everything there is in the military. There's a job that's self-supporting just like there isn't a civilian word. There's a, there's a, uh, what do they call them? A, a shopkeeper. Like your job is you're in charge of all the inventory and you issue it to the people, boots and shoes and shirts. And that's a job, you know, and your jo job is to make sure that, you have a hundred guys and you gave away a hundred shirts and that you still have the same amount of inventory left. So it, it's a job like any other, you learn discipline, you learn how to do things. You'll get to advance. If you embrace it and do a good job, you'll advance into the military. And then if you decide to retire out of the military and go into a civilian job, then you can take those strengths and traits that you're not going to learn sitting on your mom and dad's couch or your girlfriend's house or, or wherever it is that you hanging out, not learning any type of skill. Maybe you go to Job Corps and that's where you learn some skills and learn how to do some things. But anyway, the military, again, it changed my life. If you embrace it and you go into the military, you could learn a lot about, um, learn a lot about how things are supposed to be done, how you're supposed to be accountable, how you're supposed to, um, embrace things and, and, and do things a certain way. There's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And the military teaches you that. So for those of you who are kind of considering a life in the military or, or a career in the military, I mean, it's a great opportunity. If you're one that likes to go and travel the world, it is. I mean, and you'll do the same type of jobs in the military that you would in, in civilian life. So anyway, uh, I think that's about it as far as talking about careers in the military. But you can, um, you can always shoot me an email or come into one of my uh, forums that we have every day at 1230. Um, the, the chat room, and I can tell you more about my experiences if you're curious about it. So anyway, for Job Corps, I'm Petty Officer Romero. Enjoy talking to you guys today. Look forward to more of my videos. It'll be posted on the blackboard. Tell me what you gonna do, what you gonna do.